just got my winter project put in place. This is a Massey Harris number 21A, 1949. This is a machine that's been run by my family for, well, with my kids on that seat, that'll be five generations. So my great-grandfather, my grandfather, my uncle, myself, and my kids. That makes five generations on this machine. So I restored this with my grandfather when I was 15 years old. So a little while ago. And we had her up and running. We ran her every year as we could until, until we got tired of fixing. I haven't been on this machine for a number of years now. So my kids are getting a little bit older. My oldest being 15. And I think it's time to redo this engine. It's a Chrysler Straight 6. We're just going to pull this out. It's on the slide rails there. So we'll just pull it out and work on the top, work on the bottom. There's a heck of a lot of blow by. So I think it needs new rings and I don't know. It needs a new water pump. Work on the carburetor. And the rad needs a bit of work. And after that, if we get it going again, I'm going to replace all the belts and bearings. We had had trouble keeping the bearings going. They were just old rollers, eh? So I might update them if I can't find them. So there will be lots of repair and replace, but I want to get this grill going. And we don't have a pickup on it, but either we're going to get into wheat or this combine's never seen canola, so I'll make straight cut canola with it. Just love the sound of this engine when it gets going. Chrysler straight six, straight pipe, just barrels. It's what you call old school. So the paint's hanging on this metal quite nicely. We, Grandpa and I had it professionally sandblasted and painted. So we hunted for the right type of paint. I put together the decals, spent a week. Oh, it needs a little bit of touch up. It's my happy spot. So with this machine, I'll get my kids to help me take that engine apart and there'll be another generation that learns about engine, engine function and repair.